If you're just tuning into this, that's a man in a skirt. Welcome to Wimbledon 2017, day 11 on court three. During the match, Kim shouted out to the audience, will I serve left or right? And me being a cocky Irish guy said, uh, body, sir. Body. And that's when it started. The Championships, fondly known as Wimbledon, is one of the world's oldest sporting events. Among its many unique qualities are its fans, who travel from far and wide to be part of the magic. These are the stories of their pursuits. And this young man suggested body serve. He has to face a body serve from Kleisters. Yeah, I clearly wasn't. Oh yeah, you're right, Kim. This is so, so much against the rules here at Wimbledon. When she came over with the skirt, I, I said, that's not going to fit. This isn't going to work. There's an Irish saying, saying the fear of God came upon me. That's what happened. I was like, oh, this is not going to end well. Kleisters is just in pieces now. She did hit it right at my body. Oh, he's got it back! But I managed to ungracefully get it back over the net. I don't think Kim really had much choice in giving me the skirt because she couldn't use it after my legs went in and I'm in the strands with it. It was my one time wear after they went on my legs. What happened at Wimbledon has changed pretty much everything about my life. What a sight. Following that Wimbledon in 2017, the reaction from people, literally from hours after the video started to go viral, they sent messages saying, you know what, I've had the worst possible day ever. I have had such a good laugh watching your video and you just cheered me up. That actually changes something, it changes the person that the message is sent to. Literally on the plane home, we decided, you know, let's do something with this. Helping others in the way I did with the auction of the skirt was never something that I had an opportunity to do before. The obvious choice for me was the charity that is based in my hometown in, in Grace it's called the Gavin Glim Foundation. The Gavin Glim Foundation deal with families specifically that have childhood cancer. During that time, my mum was dying of cancer as well. Helping the, the Gavin Glim Foundation kept me centred and kept me strong because I had the actual opportunity to actually make a big difference to something. Through international donations and then through the actual bids on the auction itself, we managed to get 16,000 euros. I worked with the charity that I had dealt with, with the auction of the skirt to get involved in white collar boxing. After what happened with the skirt, there were so many comments on social media about the, my size. So I decided to change that. When the training gets tough and you know you've committed to, to helping, it does keep you motivated. We were also bombarding Facebook and all the social media. There was quite a buzz all over the country about this man in the Wimbledon tennis skirt that was helping people for charity. Being here at Wimbledon, one of the things that makes it so special is the atmosphere when the crowd's here, when the match is on, people cheering for their fan favourite. It's very serious because there's lots of prestige of winning that tournament, but there's the other side of it as well with the Legends matches, is a little bit more lighthearted. They do get the crowd involved a little bit, which is great. It's much more of an experience, a different type of an experience. The mental toughness you need at any level of tennis, just the same that, you know, you can pretty much apply to any challenge that comes on life. With all the bad news in the world, I think what happened to me might have refreshed people's perspective that there is something good out there. The video itself is just good, clean fun, and it's something the world is sadly lacking. What happened at Wimbledon made me reevaluate a lot of things, and. For me personally, it's so good to actually be able to give that a little bit of good feeling back. There's not many people who have that chance to actually do something with an opportunity they've been given, so I had the opportunity, so I jumped at it.